guys. Look like Nazis here. Seems a bunch of you guys got upset in my last video because I was killing people who were riding. So today we're gonna make some money. We're gonna do a Serpentis 5 out of 10. The Serpentis Corporation Hydroponic side. We're gonna use the Galenti Attack Battle Cruiser Taurus. Not because it's good at this or even suitable at all, but because it looks awesome and it does shitloads of DPS. Um, the approach we're gonna use is known as blitzing. So as you can see here, all we have to do is burst down this Dominix and collect our shiny loot. Mission success. Alright, enough of the bullshitting. Um, we're now gonna do a Rogue Swarm Nest Eve inside. Okay. I do love it when people land right in my optimal range. I swear, it was self-defense. Fight. Well, he's a good sport about it. Yeah, it's a good fit too. Well, against something that's not a Talos that bursts right for its non-existent buffer. up we have a wingspan dude tackled and a customs office. I guess we're gonna deliver some blaster charges to him. Ah yes, shield buff fits the whole reason I fit in music in the last video in the first place because who wants to watch me burn through buffer? Um, right. What could we talk about? I guess mainly my thoughts on killing the dummy. I mean, obviously, what place do I have killing a dummy in a Talos? I mean, the thing has almost no tank. I'm sure, it does damage, but I figured, hmm, hey. It's probably a rather. I figured it would be active tanked and I would hope to burn through it, but it was actually buffer tanked, but it was just running out of buffer. And boom. Let's see what the, what the pot. Oh, I remember. Ooh, ow. <laughs> Guess not. Here we have another clip of me killing something I really shouldn't have been able to kill. A healer. Uh, it's set up to tank the Serpentisites, which do thermal kinetic damage, so my blasters really do jack shit against it. Uh, but you might think, oh, rock, paper, scissors. Uh, never forget sledgehammer, blobbing, and thumb. In this case, we are somewhat practicing the art of blobbing by having someone remote wrap me while I burn down the healer. Um, yeah, and we also have a good example of Eve's superb AI design here. Hey, I think he's helping us. We should kill him, so the first guy can keep farming us. Uh, oh well. Mm, crispy tunnels. He 
he's not totally AFK. I mean, he lost it yeah. And now we are also practicing the art of drone tanking. Because apparently this guy thought it's a good idea to load uh, heavy auto-targeting missiles. Which don't apply well to drones and they won't hit me. <laughs> well, that's good. It's kind of breaking here. I mean, I know I won't, but... Uh, also seem to have, be having some trouble hitting him. I'm guessing he's AB fit, I'm not sure. But now that the NPC switched off of me and. Uh, no, they're not actually hitting him. The drones. No, they might be hitting my logy buddy. these videos I was more than one and a half bill richer than before but you guys don't care about that you just want to see me fuck up and do stupid shit right so I guess I'll leave some of that in this time as well I mean this one isn't too bad I mean what he did was even more stupid I mean I don't know why he warped in and cloaked in a stero in the first place but hey here I think, oh, I'm gonna be really elite and decloak him, I'm just gonna double click in space, I'm so good, and... And yeah, ooh, launch drones, extra effective. You couldn't be that stupid to actually stay where he landed, right? Oh. Locking him up right now, am I gonna get him? He hasn't noticed me yet. And yeah, I got him. Oh, he's almost dead. And oh, no. <laughs> right, stabbed. I was raging pretty hard right there, especially since I could have just loaded antimatter instead of null, and I would have one shot him. But yeah. So. To vent my frustration, I'm gonna let all my anger out on this MTU right now. I mean, there's so many of these things littering up space, I just gotta get rid of this. Who cares about the drake in the side? Fuck the drake. Fuck drakes in general. Then a few minutes later, after blowing up the MTU, the drake awakes from his slumber and thinks it's a good idea to aggress me. Alright, sure. More burning through buffer. Yay. I think I'm just gonna fast forward this shit. And wait for the pretty explosion. Oh, but you killed a poor little Drake. Well, I just can't help myself. I guess we can stay if I'm just a sinner. As you can see, 
speed of 1000 TPS of the same as making sure that we got the stenosis, while the pressure so kindly stays in range for me to scram in. Just replacing the drones. I don't think this would be too good against the destroyer. I'm actually not sure what's the right to use against the destroyer, hammerheads or hobgoblins. I think the hammers work. Oh yeah, the hammers work. <laughs> but this is, it is with webs. So, I don't know. Something worth experimenting on, I suppose. So, since you now know that um, there's other ships beside the Talos of Fly as well, well who would have thought? Um, then here's another one that, yeah, I was quite mad about, let's say. Um, it's versus Agnosis. And, well, this, this guy uh, with the Agnosis, he's been gate camping for hours. And, well, they knew who I was because um, he's a corp made of the, um, the guy in the Ashimo I killed in the previous video. And whenever I got near, even if, I'm not, even if I was on the other side of the gate, they would just fuck off. And yeah, yeah. I thought, oh, I got a surprise. I finally saw him warp to the sun. And you see him drones. <laughs> Why? Why? Ah. Uh, oh well. If only I would have had some smart bombs. In one smart bomb, I would have cleared the ECM drones instantly and would have stopped that from happening. But yeah, I figured hmm, smart bombs on a drone boat is a terrible idea. But yeah, in that case, it would have helped. Oh well, here's another one where I descanned down a raven to a general area. I figured, hmm, okay, maybe he's riding, warp to the first belt. And he does the same thing. I mean, Talos versus Raven, you can guess how this ends. I mean, it's not like the Dommy that was pretty damaged, but... I mean, it's it has no buffer, it's active tanked. Which gives me hope at the start, but... Yeah, I got him, and he's got me. And at this point I realized, hmm... He's got a lot of damage. I should probably pull some range just so I can get the fuck out of things go bad. <sighs> yes, and unfortunately there's a lot of lag involved in this video. Um, it has to do with Shadow Play and the latest Windows 10 update. I don't know why. It used to work fine on <laughs> multiple clients, but yeah, since the latest Windows 10 update. I don't know, as soon as I click out of the, the full screen window, it just fucks up. Yeah, freezing up and stuff. But yeah. I I could have really gotten fucked hard there. If that griffin would have landed a jam on me, I would have dropped a scram on the raven. The raven could have just micro warp drive right on top of my face and there's no way I could have gotten out. But, yeah. Got lucky there with the timing and whopped out just as I was about to hit structure. In this one, I placed a ship inside of a relic site. And yeah, I just wait until somebody warped in. Then lit the Sino. I figured, hey, here's a Forex trying to come and gank me. And yeah, nope, Sino up and yeah. Though at this point, He's not shooting. Like, what? I mean, okay, he's surprised, I get it. Also, why am I using the afterburner here? That's horrible. Okay, um... Okay, at least I realized because everything missed. <laughs> um... Yeah. As you see, the uh, forex goes down rather easily. Getting structure now. But yeah, he wasn't actually trying to gank my ship there, mm, as you can see uh, from the kill mail. Um, 
Yeah, this fit is basically the reason CCP made the Stradios. It's like an exploration forex. Okay. Anyway, um, the same tactic that works to relic sites obviously also works to belts. Anyway, just fast forwarding this, there's nothing really to talk about in this part, it's just me stealing my first for blood. <coughs> anyway, uh, there's this Gnosis that didn't fall for a trap that actually scanned down just because I like blowing up Gnosis. I'm oh, sorry. I don't know, whatever the plug is. And as you can hear by the alarms already, I was slightly surprised by this one. Um, yeah, it was a stabber, yeah, stabber fleet issue that I found just sitting in the belt. Like, okay, sure it's a fleet issue thing, why not? But that thing did a lot more damage than I expected. However, even if he blew up my Sino and could have warped off, he rubbed against the asteroid. <laughs> so he could warp and I still got him. So yay for me. <sighs> I did kind of fuck up with the drones in this one though. Um, yeah, I really didn't expect things to go that way. I'm like, oh, okay, he's sitting here, not doing anything, AFK. I just tackle him and instantly shoots me into I don't know how many health but yeah I'm like oh shit gotta hurry gotta hurry gotta hurry then I jump in Sino blows up I deploy the wrong drones but they still do the job I mean point like sentries I mean he didn't move so they still worked but yeah not ideal I love the sound of hot drop in the morning. Oh, no, but seriously, this is one of more my more favorite ones. Um, found an Ishtar uh, riding, and yeah, it was really the first, um, let's just call it shiny thing that uh, I got, you know, with the blobs. Um, I mean, there were the Gnosis, or no, fuck it, what's the plural of Gnosis? Seriously, seriously somebody tell me. <laughs> um, yeah, but the um, the Ishtar was nice as well. It, it popped my sign up pretty quick. I mean, I um, think it was. Yeah, I think it had um, what are they called? Geckos, and yeah, they they fucked up the little sign up frigate pretty quickly. But hey, whatever. Um, as I recall, it dropped uh, a yeah a. 330 mil armor repair or something in addition to the geckos and, and those geckos there. Hold on. Um, geckos are currently worth um, yeah 85 mil each as well. And that's two of them. Poo. Yeah. I'm just dropping one more random thing here on the return sign -o. But yeah, um, tell me, what do you think? Is it possible to just make money with PvP? I mean, I I've... I mean, this time I got really, really lucky. I mean, I think it's close to 2 bill in the end or something like that that I made. It's just within a week, doing nothing but PvP, but... Yeah, I don't see that that often, it was just... I think it was just luck, but I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm just curious if there's anyone out there that does the same. But yeah, so I'll see you out there then, and don't take Sino beats, or do.